what's changed in the United States in the two years since Sandy Hook? CCTV's Hendrix Sabrandi begins our insight from the U.S. state of Colorado, which experienced its own mass school shooting more than a decade ago. You know, gun violence isn't something that... A crowd in Colorado listens as Tom Mauser talks guns, about his son, one of the shooting victims violence. at Columbine High School. And I heard a report on the news about a 15-year-old boy being transported to the hospital. My son is 15. That, wow. It really started sinking in, but it took a while because we never think it will happen to us. She was smart. She was pretty. Jane Doherty's sister was one of those killed in Newtown, Connecticut. Unfortunately, a lot of people think it won't happen to them, and unfortunately, people think it's not their problem because it hasn't touched them, but it will. Two years and nearly 100 school shootings after the events at Sandy Hook Elementary, gun control advocates continue to beat the drum about gun violence in the U.S. We have much work to do. We haven't achieved anything since Sandy Hook. The Newtown massacre shocked America. It prompted Colorado legislators to approve background checks for virtually all gun sales and ban ammunition magazines of over 15 rounds. But those background checks were defeated in the U.S. Senate. Well, we are up against a very powerful gun lobby. We're up against the NRA. That lobby would only have power because it represents the mainstream of the American public, which believes that guns in the right hands make people safer. Gun rights supporter Dave Kopel argues gun control bills tend to target responsible owners of firearms. Those are needlessly intrusive and harmful. Instead, he says, why not arm teachers as a deterrent to school shooters and expand treatment of the mentally ill before they become violent? The two sides in this debate will face off next year as legislators here decide whether to keep Colorado's new gun restrictions. This group hopes to regain the momentum it had right after Newtown. We go through a, a regular um, litany of grief and mourning and condolences, and then we get um, amnesia. In the meantime, she says... The trauma and the carnage continues across America. A reality for which both sides have very different answers. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.